I gotta go to Brazil. I, I was there for a while though, even after. I, I gotta spend some time in Brazil. So I gotta know the city pretty well. It's a pretty cool place. It's huge. Like, we were, we stayed in the Renaissance Hotel and we were on the penthouse suite, our house was, and we had a 360 view of the entire city. And it was just building, it went buildings after buildings after buildings. It went on forever. It was a huge city, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and it's a crazy city. It's It was like 100 degrees when we were there, and it was like December, like sometime in December. So it was like crazy knowing that back home it was going to be like 50 degrees, and I'm here in like the bright sun. It was so cool. There was a scavenger hunt, and me and Fo ended up winning that challenge. We like ran everywhere. I remember we had a, we met the girl from, that did the, that the song Girl from Infanima was about. It's a famous Brazilian song and we got to meet her. That's what the scav that's what we were going for the scavenger hunt. Like that was the final, what, what do you call it, prize I guess, but it was cool. It was fun. For the photo shoot we had to impersonate Carmen Miranda and for that photo shoot it was really weird because some of the girls went for the, like, the, ah, you know, like the, you know, dancey, because Carmen Miranda is really animated, so some of the girls went for that, but then Jay Manuel, who's the cast, or the creative director on the set, he told us to be, you know, like, serene and beautiful and, you know, give a new twist on Carmen Miranda, and so I think there was some confusion between the girls who were going like this and some of them that were going like you know like sensual and it was just it was kind of strange I didn't really I went with the sensual path and I guess it's not what the judges wanted when they saw the pictures in panel so it was a little shaky I don't I don't know if they kind of no, never mind. in panel I got the critique that that my picture was boring and I feel like if they would have made it clear that they wanted us to be animated because Honestly, the only reason I knew who Carmen Miranda was was because I knew who Chiquita Banana was. <laughs> That's the only reason. And Chiquita Banana to me is like cha-cha-cha, you know, like really out there. And Jay wanted us to be like really serene. So it was, I didn't know what idea to go for. So I wouldn't have been so lifeless if it wasn't, if they told us, you know, be animated, so, you know, be fun with it. So it was kind of a misunderstanding and I think that's what sent me home. I actually liked Amina. It was just those two fights that we really got into. Other than that, we got along really well. And so it was kind of funny to see it because like we, I, I saw Amina at um, a reunion show and I was, we were talking about it and she was like, yeah, like, you know, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you either, you know? My favorite photo shoot was the, Bra the Carmen Miranda shoot, the one that sent me home. I actually loved that photo shoot and I actually liked my picture too. And it was, it was so much fun because we were in like the slums of Brazil. And so you really got to see what Brazil was like for the majority of the people that lived there. And so it was so interesting. And I remember I was sitting down and all these little kids were around me because they were so excited. They'd probably never seen a big video recorder like the cameras that were all around them. And it was just like so full of life. There was, for the first time, there was actually people watching us do our photo shoot. And that was so cool because you vibe off the energy of these little kids being so excited. And I remember a little dog, I'm like obsessed with dogs and animals, and a, a little Brazilian dog <laughs> walked past me and I was like, oh my God, I love this. And it was fun, it was so much fun. I did have some modeling experience before. I was with New Model Management, which is a great agency. And I had just started, I had just signed with them about two months before I actually got the call to be on the show. And I thought this exposure from the show is new is great and I probably would have excelled so much in that agency, but I needed the exposure because there's so many models out there and to be a new face, it's really difficult to break into the industry and America's Next Top Model takes girls that are have absolutely no experience, who have never been shown, who people don't even know their name and automatically two months later everybody knows who they are. So it's, I think that's what I needed. I need that little stepping stone to get me where I really want to be in modeling and I think this show will really open some doors for me. I'm represented right now by LA Models, and I know a couple of agencies are interested in me. I know that Ford's interested in me, so I'm gonna meet with them later, and they're a, I would love to be with them. So, it, you know, I, I have some things waiting for me. I do have to wait till a little while before I can start signing with agencies and stuff, so 
Um, I, right now I'm pretty much good to go with the castings and everything. So I went on a casting today and I think it went really well. So hopefully this, this show will really launch my career and I'm going to do everything I can to really be successful because modeling is my love, it's my passion, it's my dream and I'm never going to stop going for it.